welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kanievsky. April 24th is Equal Pay Day, a day on the calendar that indicates the point of the year when women's wages catch up to men's. But for union workers, it's always been a level playing field. Before their union jobs, all of these women faced the wage gap. I've even trained men to do the same job as me, knowing that they were going to get paid more than me. I did work for a company that I did a job that was uh, a lot of paperwork and uh, uh, when I left there, I know that they replaced me with a man that was making a lot more money. It hurt, but it was also it was also the main reason for keep you know, you got to have that paycheck. Keep your mouth shut and do your job and hope for a better tomorrow. How would you feel if we were digging the same ditch on a job and I'm making twenty dollars an hour and you're making ten? These four women represent just a handful of the millions of females throughout the corporate world who make less than their male counterparts. It's unbelievable to me that uh, more than 40 years after the passing of the Equal Pay Act and the Civil Rights Act, women are still making only 77 cents for every dollar that a man makes. Some lawmakers on Capitol Hill are taking notice and want some answers. Both the Senate and the House held committee meetings this week to address the issue. Why is this so hard to penetrate you know, society and the economy so that people get the best out of all their workers regardless of gender. Economists say that's the million dollar question. Even if you account for the tendency of women to elect lower paid jobs, like in the field of social services, or the fact that some women take time off to have children, or even that many in the corporate world still consider men to be the family breadwinner, the numbers don't add up. Why, I ask, is a housekeeper worth less than a janitor? Why is a parking meter reader worth less than an electrical meter reader? Why is a social worker worth less than a probation officer? Lawmakers who support equal pay legislation say this isn't a woman's issue, rather a family issue, that affects both the present in terms of a weekly paycheck and the future because of retirement. If you make less, you retire with less. On average, women's wages constitute more than one-third of their family's income. Paying women an equal salary for equal work is immediate means to making their families more secure. Although some don't believe a pay gap exists, many do. Deidre Farmer is one of those women. She testified at the first committee meeting the House of Representatives has held on the subject. She is one of the 1.6 million people involved in a class action suit against Walmart. At the time I was promoted into the TLE manager job, for example, I was assigned a salary of $28,000, while most men were paid base salary of $30,000 when they entered the same job. Even though she had been at Walmart for nearly 13 years, she was fired after she complained of wage discrimination. The response I received was a pink slip notifying me that I was being fired less than three months later on New Year's Eve 2002. When I asked why I was being terminated, I was told that I had taken too many breaks. Being in a union ends the wage gap. When a contract is negotiated, male and female workers make the same amount if they have the same skill levels. It's so nice to know that I'm doing the same job as you or you or you, and we're all getting the same pay. If I get a raise, you get a raise. If none of us got a raise, Okay, none of us got a raise. I want you to have the same thing I have. I want you to be able to go out and get a car, a new car. I want you to be able to send your kids to college. But this doesn't stop organized labor from trying to make it right for all workers. On April 24th, the women's class at the Whippensinger Center showed their solidarity by wearing red in support of Equal Pay Day. Now, I join a union. I am union till I die. No, no one can, you know, can change that. And, but as a union member, I am going to do everything within my power to force the companies and our leaders, our government, to mandate these things so there is equal pay across the board. This wage gap is not limited to people in low-paying jobs. Just recently, Wimbledon started paying its female and male players the same. And one study shows that even some wage discrepancy exists among workers at the prestigious MIT. For more Machinist News, you can log on to goim.org. Thanks for watching.